Hi everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today we are making this bag. Now, I have really enjoyed making this bag and can you see that the two handles have a different size? Well, this is what they call a Japanese knot bag. So the way you close your bag is by means of these handles. You push the big handle through the smaller one and then you pull up the bigger one, giving you a handle to hold your bag, but also this way it closes your bag. Now the bag is made with an oval base and it is a reasonable size inside so you can get quite a lot of things in there your purse, sunglasses, tissues, phone, things like that but also imagine you could put you know some yarn in there your crochet hook scissors and you could possibly close this up have this around your wrist and have your yarn coming out of here while you're crocheting while you're walking and crocheting even <laughs> so yes a very very handy bag which can be used for quite a few things so for this project I'm using the retwist Cheney cotton cake and they don't really have colors but this one is the RCC 04 and so it's nice and bright look at that and it's a recycled cotton yarn so it's made from new recycled fibers and it's a mixture of recycled cotton polyester and then five percent other recycled fibers and it's for crochet hook size two millimeter to four millimeter so i am using my three and a half again because i do believe it made a lovely fabric before with this and again i want this bag to stand up and so this would be the ideal hook to use for that you will also need your scissors darning needle and then here i have some stitch markers because those are really handy when you are making that oval base just to keep track of where your half circles start so let's get started so let's find the middle and am i going to be yes lucky enough i was just going to say there we are i found it and we are going to make a slip knot insert your hook and this time we are going to chain 16 1 2 15 and 16 so i have my 16 chains here so now we are going to do a chain two for the first half double crochet that we are going to be doing but we are going to be putting our half circles in the last chain and in the first chain. So we are going to be creating a half circle here. And to get started here, we are going to do half the stitches that we need for that half circle. So chain two, and they count as your first half double crochet. Then in your 16th chain, you are going to place two half double crochets making sure you pick up two strands there okay so two half double crochets so this stitch here is going to be the last one of our half circle so i am going to indicate it just so that i know what's what there we go and now I'm going to work my way along my chain, placing half double crochets into each chain. And I am going to be picking up two strands. So insert and make sure, yeah, that's just one. <laughs> insert and make sure you have two strands on your hook there. The reason why I do that is so that it doesn't expand. So make your way to the end of your chain. So one more. There we go. 
And now we have this last chain here. In there, we are going to be placing six half double crochets. So when you've done your first one, once again, I am going to be marking it. There we go. Voila. And now we're going to do another five in there. So into the same chain. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and here comes number six. There we go. See? And once again, that sixth one indicates the end of our half circle. So I am going to mark that. There we are. And now we work our way back along the chain, placing half double crochets into that sort of third chain loop that's still left over. But also notice this strand here, the end of our yarn, sort of lies along those chains as well. So I am just going to take that with me and that way I crochet over it. And it just makes sense to do that. And that way I don't have to sew it in. And to make it a little bit easier to pick up that third chain, I just twist my hook and put it under like that. And I make sure I take along that end here. I can see here now that I've made it back to the chain where we are going to be putting our half circle in it. So from here, we need to do another three half double crochets in there. So I'm just going to do that. Yeah. And of course, this is the first one. So yeah, I am going to mark it so I can find it easily when I need to in the next round. So we're going to be placing another one in there and another one. Okay, so counting from the stitch marker, we have one, two, three, four and five. And of course, here we have that chain two. That chain two counts as a half double crochet, but we still have to do a slip stitch. So I'm going to do my slip stitch under this here which is the fifth one you go under there you pull up your yarn and you pull it through the loop on your hook and this way we have now got one two three four five and six stitches in our half circle that we need so chain two and of course now we are going to be doing increases for a flat circle when we are between the stitch markers. So here on the sides, we will just be placing one stitch on top of another. So I've already chained two. That chain two is going to count as the second stitch when I get here from the other side. So for now, I'm just going to disregard that. And now we are going to go into that V here, doing two half double crochets. Because, of course, in the second round of a circle, to increase, you are going to be doing two stitches in each stitch. So this is the stitch with the stitch marker in. So that's the last one where we have to do those increases. But also, I am going to move the stitch marker because of course now the last stitch here that I did is going to be the last one of our circle in the next round. So it makes it just easier to identify these stitches and yeah, it makes it so much nicer to do this pattern. So there we go. Taking that little bit of effort just to replace or install that stitch marker makes for much easier crochet time. <laughs> okay, so I'm just doing 
a half double crochet on top of every half double crochet along the side until I meet my stitch marker. Okay, so now this is a stitch with the stitch marker. I am just going to take it out because that makes it easier to work in it. So there we go. So now I know I have to get started here with the increases. So I do my first one. I replace my stitch marker because this, of course, is my first stitch for my next round. And now I do a second half double crochet in there and I do two half double crochets in each stitch around this half circle until, of course, I meet my stitch marker. There we go. So this is a stitch with the stitch marker. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to place two half double crochets in there. And that's the end of my half circle, indicating that by the stitch marker. There we go. And now I am just going to continue along here with my half double crochets. I mean, you might think uh, an oval base is quite intimidating, but to be honest, if you use stitch markers, it's not really. You can break it down where you're doing your increases for your circles on the sides by using the stitch markers. And then the other part is just doing the stitches along the side. So to be honest, it is quite easy to make this oval base when you have the system of the stitch markers. Okay, so I got to the stitch with the stitch marker. That means I have to start doing my increases again. So let me do my first one. Reinstate the stitch marker. Then do my second stitch in that same stitch and then just continue doing your two stitches in each stitch until, of course, you meet this last stitch here. And we have already that chain coming out of it. So all this stitch needs is another half double crochet and that's it. So now to close the round, we're skipping the two chains going under this V here and we do a slip stitch and then that slip stitch lies over the chain giving it its top making these 12 v's so this is where we are at at the moment so we've done two rounds that means we have a base that has the width of four half double crochets now for our half circle here that we will be doing we are going to be doing the increases for a flat circle for round three so that means you do a chain of two again we're disregarding this because this is going to be the last stitch of our round we are starting our increases but for round three we do one half double crochet in the first stitch and then we do two half double crochets in the next stitch. See? One in the next and two in the next one. But yeah, the stitch marker is in the way. So let me just remove this one and I'm going to do my two stitches. And then straight away, I am going to be replacing, although technically it's not necessary anymore because we are going to be starting the sides after this round. 
So now, once again, we are just placing our half double crochets on top of the half double crochets along the side. There we go. I have met the stitch with the stitch marker. I am going to take it out. And again, here we have to start the increases for round three. So we are just going to be placing one half double crochet in there because that's where we start one half double crochet in the first stitch then we do two half double crochets in the next stitch one and two see and this is how we are going to continue one and two one and two. And two here, and then one. And then the stitch with the stitch marker, you are going to be placing two in there. Two, there we go. Replacing your stitch marker. And then once again, we're doing the half double crochets along the side. And then here, of course, we've met the stitch marker again. Take it out and we start once again with one half double crochet, reinstate the stitch marker and then two. one and two one and two and if you've done everything correctly you should be able to do one here which is correct and then here is the location for a two and of course yes we have already the chain coming out so we just add the one half double crochet skip the chain go under this v here and we close the round with a slip stitch so this is the base of my bag it is about 17 centimeters wide or about seven inches and it's about two and a half inches high like this or about six centimeters yes you can remove your stitch markers this is the good side this is the inside working with the good side towards us and we are going to do two chains and then from now on we don't need to increase anymore so we will always be putting one stitch into one stitch and the first round we are going to be placing half double crochets in the back loop and the third loop so let me just show you very clearly this is the back loop because we're holding it like this this here is a front loop this is the back loop and then if you just tilt it towards you you can see that there is another strand here that lies there and this is the third loop now you can pick this up by sort of pushing down lower so here i have got the back loop and that third loop on my hook why do we pick these up because this is a bag and we are making the transition from the base to the sides and if we didn't look this here will create holes. Can you see that? And look here, that does not create that hole. 
So it's going to be a much neater, tidier finish. If we, now I've got to make sure, of course, I find, yeah, there we go, I find that strand. There we go. And there's a certain angle that you have to do with your hook to get both the strands, but make sure each time, like I am doing, I am inserting at that lower angle, but I am still tipping over my base towards me to check visually that I have got that third loop. And soon enough, you will notice yeah, <laughs> that your side is standing up. Look, see? It's already changed position. And on the inside, it looks like this because, of course, you've picked up an extra strand. But that's okay because on the outside, look, we have a lovely, lovely little ridge there. So this is how you will go all the way around your base and I will meet you when you get back to where we started. So I've made it to the end of my round. I am now here at this stitch with that chain two coming out. That chain two is going to count as my half double crochet. So I'm going to skip it and I'm going to go over to that next V here, go into there and do a slip stitch. And I tend to, you know, Pull it quite nice and tight so it doesn't make a, a gap there. And then to start the next round, we are going to chain two. And then we are going to be placing one half double crochet in each stitch of the round. And this time you are just going to be picking up both the V's because, of course, we have now made the transition from the base to the sides and we are now just making the sides and as you can see look i already have my edge let me just take my hook out like this standing up look and i already have some sort of shape so I will now continue doing rounds of half double crochets each time finishing as we just did and starting as we just did. And I will be back to show you how to do the handles. Just wanted to show you quickly how the colours are advancing and they're so wonderful and bright. I'm really loving the effect. So yes, it's a reasonably good bag. Um, I can fit my phone in it quite easily now. So I'm guessing I'm, I'm nearly there. I do want it a little bit taller just so I have more effect of the colours. So I will be back when I'm ready for the handles. So I've just finished this orange row and Although it hasn't just yet, but the two-tone is coming up, so I am going to start doing the handle here. So I'm just going to start doing, like usual, a row, like, um, you know, chain two, and then start doing your half double crochets. But I'm only going to be doing, like, six or seven of them. So let's see how far that gets us. So it depends, of course, on where your ending here and my seam has traveled that way so i think in fact looking at it like this look i think this would be a good location and that sort of yeah let's do one more there we go see and i think that's a good width for that little handle there so now we're going to chain turn and we're going to work. So we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. So we are going to keep on doing seven stitches along the row each time. So you chain one, you turn seven half double crochets, chain one, turn seven half double crochets. And of course, we're going to do this for the length of the handle that we want there. Now, we need to make one short and one longer handle. So I'm thinking that this one is going to be the short one. And then 
the next one that I make will be the long one. So I'm going to make this to the length that I want and then to come back down and then I will attach it to there. But I will be back when I am ready to attach it. So we're going to start by doing our usual turning chain. Now this would just hang on the side and I want to attach that one as well. So we are going to go and take a look at where we are attaching this handle. And if you can see here, we've got one, two, three. Let me show you one, two, three. And then sort of this is the edge chain stitch. So then I've got one, two, three. So here I would want to finish. We've got seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, look at that. I accidentally <laughs> went into this eighth stitch and that is where I want to get started because we are going to be attaching this little chain as well so just to make sure oh what am I doing that it's not hanging out so pull up your loop and bring through that loop through that eighth stitch there there we go and then at least it's sort of also connected you know and then you are going to continue doing your half double crochets, so seven of them. And you pull up a loop, you go into the next stitch, bring the loop around your hook again and pull it through. And you continue doing your half double crochet along your little handle here. And each time you pull up the loop and you go, let me just show you, into the next stitch. And that way we are connecting the handle. A little bit awkward, but it's only for seven stitches, so not too bad at all. There we go. So there we go. So the last stitch, I've just pulled up the loop and I am going to cut it off and I'll have to weave in the end. There we go. So now on to doing the second handle. Now I have been manipulating a little bit of these colours because I really wanted two different colors of handle and of course if I hadn't done this then I would have had to start with this and I don't you know that would have taken me quite a long way into that handle before it changed again so I'm now going to get started with the purple because I really wanted a purple handle and then I'll see how far that gets me so make your slip knot insert your hook and once again, just like we did here, we've got about, let's see, that one is used. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Did I use this one? Yeah, six stitches in between here. So we're going to make sure that we have six stitches here as well. So one, two, three. So I really should end here. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So start here. Okay, so I'm keeping my eye on that stitch and I'm yarning over ready for the half double crochet into that stitch and off we go. And then once again at the end you will do a chain you turn and you do another seven stitches and that way of course you are doing your second handle so two yeah seven and now we chain we turn and we do our short rows of seven half double crochets and now of course we have to make sure we make a longer handle because this handle is then supposed to go through this one and then have a loop at the end so we can hold our bag or we can have it around our wrist. So, yeah, I'll see you when I have enough rows done.
So I have now done 32 rows of half double crochets for this handle here. So it is quite a bit larger than the other one. And so now I am going to do my attaching here. So really it's the same as before. So you chain one. We are going to attach this chain. So once again, one, two, three, one, two, three one two three four five six seven and then in the eighth one for that chain oh no i am doing it like this <laughs> loop it through and pull it close a little bit more there we go and now we continue with our half double crochets and we attach it and then, of course, all we'll have to do then is sew in the ends and make sure I attach my tassel. And our bag is ready. So I'm pulling through both the double strands through a stitch to the back. Then I'm knotting it behind there and weaving away the ends. Thank you so very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you will enjoy making this bag and I hope you will use it as a project bag for out and about. Who knows? Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!